Let's look in that vault. Yeah. All right, so Lady Ada, the top secrets this week. Uh, why don't you talk about the first two? Uh, I just, uh, you know, I found this random ass UV uh, sensor. Um, I can't remember the name of the company, like Jenna, Jenna UV or something. Uh, and they have an A and an AB UV light sensor. I thought that would be kind of interesting because I'm always looking for UV light sensors. A lot of them get discontinued. And then uh, this ENS 160 uh, quad MOX gas sensor, I thought was kind of interesting too. Um, MOX gas sensors, you know, it's always kind of interesting. Um, different companies have different takes on them. Uh, the technology, the, the theory behind them is kind of the same with all of them, but they have a little tweaks. So this is a breakout for the ENS 160. Um, yeah. They do have an Arduino driver, which is kind of nice. So I can check it out. It's I2C. And then uh, we have a little video that we shot. Really, Ada, what is this? This is a miniature, like, model train um, or, like, model city or architectural model um, stoplight. And I thought this was a really adorable uh, little device that maybe engineers could use. Um, I've got it wired up to uh, an Arduino Metro Mini, and the wires are really thin, so I just kind of got them stuck in here. But uh, it's good enough to test. Uh, the black wire goes to plus five volts, and then uh, you just connect red, yellow, and green to digital I/O. And then I've got a little bit of Arduino code just to test it out. But I just thought this was so cute. I mean, like maybe people making electronic dollhouses. Um, or something uh, can use this uh, cute little model. A necklace. A necklace, maybe? Uh, yeah, like stop red. Yes. Uh, <laughs> green go. And I also got this interesting kind of like test clip, which is uh, 0.1 inch spacing, and you just clip it on. Uh, very handy, maybe for debugging or programming. Then we have a little short video, the latest uh, PyLeap update that we're working on right now. Trevor put together a quick video, I'm gonna show that, and then we're gonna show some LED cubes, and then we're gonna do some questions. Hello, this is Trevor, and I'm here to show you our new PyLeap update. This time around, we'll be showing you the PyLeap update with the Circuit Playground Bluefruit. Let's get started. First, we're going to select the project. We're going to connect to, the, to our uh, Bluefruit device. We enter pairing mode. And we should be connecting now. Awesome. So now let's transfer some rainbows over to our circuit playground Bluefruit. And just like that, we have rainbows. Let's try that for our Blink uh, project. Awesome. Let's try a project that's a bit larger to put together. Doesn't take too long. And there it is. Awesome. And is it working? Yes, it is. Awesome. Well, there you go. That's our new PyLeap update. We'll check in with you soon. See ya. Okay, then uh, these are some videos of an upcoming project. You've probably seen some of this on Ryan Pedro's show, 3D Hangouts, but uh, we got a lot of cube projects. And this is part of a, another larger cube project. And this is before they figured out how to get the camera to not sync, desync, and then they figured out how to get it to, uh, to sync nicely. Yeah, well, you know. I think most folks understand that. Yeah. When you have a... You'd be surprised. I'm going to have to say it every time. Yeah. Now we're trying to orient ourselves. Yeah. I kind of like that it's a little Minecraft. It's like the test images of Minecraft Cube. Yeah. There's something hilarious about that. And then here's a pretty cool... This is starting to get this like matrixy. Yeah. yeah, this is a test demo. Um, it's not smart, but we're going to make it smart. Yeah. And that's the top secret of the week. Okay. I'm going to jump right into questions. Well, let's get some of these questions. Yes.